Everybody loves a rags to riches story. <laughs> I go by LT, by most people that's what they know me by. A lot of people call me a big LT because I'm 6'7". Basically my foot got crushed in a car accident. Caused a, what they call a metatarsal pressure ulcer. And it just kept going deeper and deeper until infection set into the end of the bone, it was heading into the bone and they said they had to cut my foot off. Now I got one of the, the coolest looking legs. <laughs> I get a $839 a month disability check, which I can barely make it on. I mean, as it is right now, I'm $50 overdrawn. <laughs> Trying to live on you know, $800 a month disability is just crazy. And do you know who made this weaving? Do you know what kind of blanket it is? Uh, it's a, probably a Navajo, but uh, that's about all I know. I came across a uh, first phase chief Navajo blanket that was handed down through the family. To me, it seemed very cool, you know, an Indian blanket, you know. I never really thought it was worth, you know, any large sum of money. On a really bad day, this textile would be worth $350,000. On a good day, it's about a half a million dollars. Oh, my God. I was watching Antiques Roadshow, and I saw a similar blanket. I thought, you know, it looks just like it, you know, and I'm holding it up holding it up to the TV, but I never thought mine would be worth anything close to that. I'm thinking, you know, well, maybe it might be worth, you know, 10,000, 15,000 or something. So then I started on my search of antique appraisers and stuff, and what came back was to contact John Moran Auctioneers. So Lauren reaches into this bag and uh, grabs this blanket out, and we both unfurl it on the ground, and uh, I almost fell over. If this is what we think it is, it's truly an amazing Navajo weaving, and we're just, I think the hair on the back of our neck stood up. The blanket before us is probably woven prior to 1850, maybe 1840s. Classic period first phase weavings represent the beauty of the Navajo tradition. In 1860, maybe a captain in the U.S. Army would have earned one or two dollars a month, and this blanket would have cost 50 to 100 dollars. So conceivably, this would have cost somebody uh, in a high position up to four years of their salary. And they told me it was worth close to about $50,000. So I'm like, wow. <laughs> you know, I was just really, you know, elated and excited, you know, to hear something that, you know, I mean, I'd been through the ringer, you know, losing a leg and thing like that, you know, and never really, never really had nothing of my own, you know. Then from there, it just, it kept going up. You, get, you know, they had, they had, uh, Moran Auctioneers, they wanted to send the fibers off to, uh, to an expert. So they've tested it on a, a, the small samples that we sent on a spectrograph, and he's confirming that it is the cochineal dye. And that's the key, uh, makes a huge difference in the price. Hang on to your feet. Uh, I would say very conservatively, 100 to 200,000. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me! I'm, I'm still, I you almost, know, almost want to cry, you know, because, like I said, I've never, I've never had nothing my whole life. That's really what I hope to get gain out of this is, is enough to, to buy my own home, maybe fix my car a little bit. <laughs> to me, it's, it's given me pretty much a new lease on life. This blanket has it all. It has the condition, the provenance. Um, it's just something that never comes along. A mate to this, almost identical, is at the Smithsonian. I feel fortunate to be a part of the sale because frankly I don't expect to find another one of these in my lifetime. We've done our part now and next Tuesday this blanket will go for auction and uh, the prospective bidders will do their part. June 19th can be a great day. She's an expert. And, all right, now on the Navajo Chief, uh, a very interesting story with this. It has impeccable provenance. It's never been offered before. The condition is overall for its age and circumstances is very excellent. 
and it's here being offered for the first time. We start the bidding at 150,000. Of 150,000, 200,000 is bid, 250,000, 300,000, 350,000, 400,000 is here, 450,000 with Katie, 500,000 is here. That's 550,000, oh 600,000 is bid. At 650, 700 I have. 750 is bid. 750,000 is the bid. 800,000 is bid. 850,000 is bid. At 850, we're going to go 900,000 now. 900,000 is bid. 950 is bid. Nice round number at a million. A million is bid. A million and 100,000. Now two. At a million, 100,000. Would it be two? Two, uh, 200,000. I have a million two. A million three. A million three hundred thousand, now four. Now four I have, at a million four hundred thousand, now five. At a million four hundred thousand is the bid. A million four hundred thousand is bid. At a million four hundred thousand, five is bid. A million five, the other folks can bid too. At a million five, at a million six. All through and selling then to the standing bidder at a million five hundred thousand. Congratulations, sir. Buyer number 110 was the buyer. Oh my God. It's like winning the lottery. I had no idea. I'm still freaking out. This is going to change my whole life, you know, change our lives. It couldn't have came at a better time. I mean, bills were behind and, you know, things need to be caught up. Basically, I'd like to thank the Morants. They're fantastic people. And I mean, they did a fantastic job, as, <laughs> as everyone you know, can see here today. I mean, a million five, that's, wow.